Hi, this is Paul, and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday, the 18th of October. So let's have a look at the members area for our stock scanners membership. So we get potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades every single day. So in the four short fifth wave trades, we are looking at here for the 18th of October. Click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this. OK, so I have chosen 60 minute time frame for the potential short today. Had a lot selling up after a couple of days of bull moves. If the markets turn back down, we want to take advantage of it. So let's have a look at one of these on a chart. So I've chosen Estee Lauder EL on the 60 minute. Now, this is the Elliott Wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com for the NinjaTrader NT8 platform. I've gone for the overview of this potential trade now in that we have had um, quite a bumpy ride, but a, a downward ride intraday on Estee Lauder from the beginning of October there. So I've isolated uh, around about the 2nd of October. Um, in there and we as you can see here we've got an ABCD just a little correction there the main thing is we've got the Elliott wave one the two the three and the wave fours pull back into our pullback zone so let's have a look at a closer look of that on our think or swim platform so this is the same move on our Elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim platform Extra that we've got here that we're working on here is our multiple time frame dot clouds. You can see our main trend here on the weekly, the two day, the daily, uh, the four hourly and the two hourly were all uh, red. We just pulled back slightly against there on this wave four and we're ready to go short again. So the initial um, filters that we have for uh, our stock scanner membership, the three main filters. So the first one is the wave falls pull back against the main trend. It's found resistance uh, in our green zone. That green zone represents an 85% probably it's going to go on and make a new wave low into automated target zones down here around about 123.24. The next is the behavior of the wave four, the 535 oscillator here. During the wave four, it's pulled back between 90 and 140%, as you can see on this um, top uh, sub chart here so that's good the wave falls behaved very well kept within parameters uh, the next and final filter for the stock scanner membership is that we've got a main bearish trend we've got the false breakout uh, dots here in yellow at the bottom of this stochastic in the oversold zone the stochastics pulled back against there and now it's crossed over in the overbought zone and the likelihood is it wants to return back to that main bearish trend so they're the the main setup features for that uh, potential short now we have to look at an entry so for me I want to go below the low of yesterday uh, I want to be outside the 6-4 moving average low as well which is part of our Elliott wave indicator suite uh, so entry 127.59 is quite sensible below the low of yesterday outside the 6-4 moving average low the stop loss up here around about 129.60 above the wave four and that gives us a risk to reward of over one to two to the middle of our target zone there around about 123 dollars so really sensible entry below the low of yesterday um, we've got a great target here of around about 123 dollars great risk reward very simple setup combining our stock scanner membership and the use of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. See you all tomorrow.